I've heard of the Invisible Man, but the Invisible Woman? In her work, Lamont explores notions of female beauty, how women are looked at, and how they observe that others look at them. Lamont's subject is always the dress, whether it is for a child or a full-grown woman, and she always makes the dresses life-size. She explores different fashions, from stiff, frilly Victorian dresses to classically draped figures such as this one. It looks like a ballroom gown, but I don't think you could even move if you were wearing this dress. Look closely and you'll see that the dress is made up of three large sections of glass, while the shawl forms two more pieces. Casting glass on such a large scale is very difficult. There isn't a kiln big enough here in the United States to do it, so the artist had to go to Czechoslovakia to make the molds and heat the glass for this sculpture. Lamont uses art students and herself to create her molds, and you can see when you look at the sculpture that you are not only looking at a dress, but at the human body beneath it. As you walk around the sculpture, look at the shawl and see where there are imprints of hands from the ghostly figure who holds it. Hey, maybe her dancing partner is the headless horseman.